Mario. Okay, so this is my try the 70 star run on Super Mario 64. Uh, I'm hoping to do it in less than two hours. As you can see, to the right, my current record is two hours, two minutes, twelve seconds. Uh, and in that run, let's just say I made a lot of mistakes in the end, and it took me a long time to get the stars on the last three or so levels. Uh, three or four levels. Uh, while before that, so the run was okay. Yeah, for me, it was okay, which means mistakes and everything. One mistake or so in every level, like huge mistake, death or so. But that's okay. Right. So I should be able to. Let's see, let's go let's see if I can get the camera thing skipped. Nope. I haven't done that in a long time now on the run. I never practice it because I feel like I don't miss much anyway. It looks cool if I skip it, but. It's not like I care much. It's so early in a run anyway, if I really wanted to, I could just reset until I get it. Okay. The first, first star is the one behind the gate. One of those stars that I think teased many people when they were young, because they saw it right there, but they didn't know how to get to it. And the, solu the real solution is to stomp the little pole this black guy is on, but... Uh, I have another solution for it. And that's this. Here we go! Kind of glitchy cheat, but. Not glitchy, cheeky, cheeky MF, so. Uh, next step, let's see. Next step is going to the staircase. Uh, not staircase, really, but a slide, rather. The princess's secret slide. In the star, and here too, there's like a little speedrunner cheat you can do. It's not a glitch, but rather just a shortcut. Let's see if I can get it. I need to get at least once and two, two times. Uh, let's go so far. No problem. See, it's not a shortcut. It brings me immediately to the end of the slide. I should be able to get this. this. This first star you only get for for getting time like below 20 seconds or something like that. Uh, then there's a second star that you can get just by you know just by getting to the bottom of the slide, no matter what time you get it at. I'm gonna get that star later uh, after I finish the Womp's Fortress. It's for movement reasons mostly, like silly things like where the rooms are placed in correlation to each other. Like this is the shortest amount of movement I would have to do to get between the different worlds, is by doing it this way. So, Womps Fortress, here I want to get all stars. There are seven stars total in each world, six normal ones and one star for getting all 100 coins in the level. And I kind of almost got that one, it's called a canalus, where you kind of cheat yourself to a star, but since I didn't get that glitch now, I'll just get another star instead. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, first star in this level. I bet you're supposed to use the cannon to get this star, but... Um, uh, many, like, there are many, many places in the game where they didn't really... Maybe they thought of it, but maybe they understand that most people won't think to use the super overpowered uh, backwards jump. Like when you turn around, you kind of slide, and you get can get like a really high, really high altitude jump, which is very useful. It's just as high as the back Z backflip, uh, but you can do it like while moving. Oh shit, that's bad. Here it's all you kind of glitch the statue by you go through him. Uh, while you see jump, you go through objects, solid objects, some of them like enemies. So I can use that glitch to beat this boss a little bit easier without having. He doesn't need to miss me, he can kind of hit me, but still not get me. So that's another star. And through this run, I 
I think I enter every normal level except one, that's Jolly Roger Bay, because that's a level that's so much focused on just swimming, and swimming slow in this game. So you want to avoid swimming as much as possible. So that's why in a 70 star run, when you just, just get 70 necessary stars for completing the game, you never go there because it's just too slow. Uh, so right now I'm gonna get the 100, 100 coin star, while also getting the 1 for 4, uh, I mean 8 red coins. Okay, I failed that one. It's gonna be a little trick. Triple jump. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. I missed like two times in a row, but uh, I hope the stream isn't lagging to shit because I'm gonna fuck. It feels like I'm getting a little bit of frames dropped on this. The game isn't really running as smooth as it would without recording all the gosh, this is not good. But it's to be expected that uh, compared to the time to Compared to the time I will waste in the end of this run, like in the last levels, where I will spend maybe 15 minutes just getting one star because I simply don't really know the tricks to get them. Like the, these little near misses here aren't that horrible. Ah oh, shit, I was just gonna say at least I got that one, but nope. Ah oh, shit, this is really troublesome. Oh. What the hell? Uh, at least I'll have something great now too. Uh, I'll have a way to to uh, I'll have a time to chase, kind of. Because oh, shit. wow, this must be the worst I've ever done at this. Uh, now I must even think of like where there are extra coins to get because. The five coins I missed from not grabbing the blue coin from that piranha flower. I'm not really sure how to regain those five coins. I just need a few extra coins to make up for that loss. Uh, there aren't that many enemies in this stage. Enemies to drop coins, so... Uh, I'm not sure how to do that. Let's see if I can drop the solution towards the end of this one. Uh, this level. My screen keeps saying it detects dropped frames, so I hope I hope that doesn't mean the stream is lagging horribly. See, now I just need one more red coin for the red coin star. The thing is, I don't think I really can't think of a good way to get the last. Oh wait, there's a piranha flower down here. I can use that. Good. If I just don't fail that, well, I can get my extra the extra coins I need. Just, oh wait, here, this one. Three coins. Oh, so spread out so fast. Fuck. Just the last coin. Okay, that's not good, but I'll... I don't care. Definitely dropping frames in the game. Maybe there are ways I can make the game less... Uh, less... Demanding for my computer. Uh, to make the game not lag, because that's kind of frustrating, actually. That's, what, that's the only time, I guess, I envy the people actually playing on a Nintendo 64 console. Which I, I would if I, just, if I just had an American console, an American or Japanese. Uh, American or Japanese console with an American or Japanese game, I would do that, but the European game, the European version of this game, I don't even know what I'm doing now. Uh, the European version of this game is uh, a little bit slower. Uh, it's one sixth, like this game runs at 60 frames per second, while 
the European version runs at only 50 frames per second with no compensation whatsoever. Like the game really doesn't just render 50 slash 60 frames per second. It's actually like all the calculations are done. The game is actually slower. Uh, okay, I'm gonna skip trying for Canalis because I already lost a shit ton of time, so I'd just be wasting more time because seriously I need the Canalis in. So I'll get the cannon, which is of course the opposite of cannonless. Using the cannon. This star also has like a little trick to it. Where we just line up the shot and then time it correctly too. Line it up here. Like how you use the red coin to put it in the corner of your aim. And then just wait for the right moment to release and you'll be able to land on the wooden platform of this. Uh, which also means I'll get the start much quicker without having to jump up there again. Okay, so that's my first split. I'm 1 minute and 31 seconds behind my record already. That's just because I, I screwed up the 100 star very, very bad. Okay, now it's time to get the second slide star, which is kind of boring. It's just going to be the same, me doing exactly the same thing again, except um, instead of getting that star that appears, I'll go all the way to the back where there's a box and open that box for another star, like the normal star that everyone is supposed to have, no matter how fast you finish your race. That little kick is just to not get take damage from the speed as I fall from such height. Okay, not get that star, but get let's see this. Oops, this star instead. And the reason why I do like a little butt flip thing in the air is just because that way Mario doesn't have to first take the star and then fall all the way to the ground before it gets registered. For this one, fine tact. Okay, one. So good enough. Really, I just mostly do that just to lower my speed so I can safely get all these red coins without having to be a master of control. But going down like that lowers the speed quite a lot compared to going immediately for the highest ones. So we just got the one left here. There we go. Another little trick where I kind of try to double jump on this thing, but I actually fail now. So, uh, if I succeed to double jump on it, like jump instantly off it into the store, I won't have to see that little text box that I got there. It will just skip the text box for me to immediately get the store. And now it's time for the first boss stage. This is one of the hardest stages in the game. It's actually the hardest of the Bowser stages, according to me, where the easiest one, of course, is the lava one, because the lava one you can fall down and bounce up again. This one you just fall to your death if you fall off. Getting burned there is not as horrible as it might seem. It's okay, because I still get the button. And I have time to get back to get this one, unless I screw up this jump. Nope, but... Okay, that's actually the most dangerous part of the course, right there in the beginning. Now it well, it's a little bit simpler. Still, I shouldn't make too many mistakes because I screw up. Something. It's easy to fall down somewhere. Oops. Really, the frame lag is kind of screwing with my mind now. Oh shit. Huh. Oh. Yeah, that's a few seconds lost, I guess. It's okay. Oops. Kill me. Yeah, like I said, this is I'm not sure this is really qualifies even as a speed run what I'm doing right now, because I'm the fastest people in the world do this let's just say much much faster. So I don't even qualify to, you know, be even close to their speed, but I mean I still think this is quite a lot faster than the average person would do it, mostly just because at least I've memorized how to get the necessary stars in the game. And, I mean, yeah, completing the whole game, picking up the 70 stars needed, 
in less than two hours, I would still call that some kind of achievement. Okay, that was a bad throw, but it's okay because now I'm so close that I can't screw this up. Uh, Bowser's dead for the first time. The Japanese version that I'm playing right now has a few small differences to the American and European versions. And one of them is that like, there are less sound effects in this game. So, for example, when he when Mario throws Bowser like, in the in the European American versions, he says like "So long, Bowser," while in this one, he just says "Here we go," and that's it. Uh, also, the red coins. They make kind of a. I actually prefer, I guess, Salong Bowser also kind of is a cool thing about the European American release, but here the red coins always make the same sound. In the Japanese, they always sound. While in the. In the European American release, they have. A, like the sound get the pitch. The pitch gets higher and higher for every coin. Like. Like that for every red coin you pick up, which kind of, you know, you can hear how you're completing more and more of these coins. Not this one the way I want it, which is good. First try. So, it's the star and saved some time from my record. As you saw, I lost fi another 15 seconds uh, between Womp and Bowser. I'm not sure really how, because I think I did it well. But just watching the video again, I'll see I made a mistake that I now forgot about. Let's see which doors did I get. I got the uh, slide. Slide fly cat bowser. Can't think of any mistakes I did, but whatever. Okay, cold cold mountain. This really I mean there's a few stars here I could die on, but I won't lose too much time by dying on them. Uh, while the another 100 coin star here, and that's why I can really lose time by screwing up. And this is the first star, also kind of an unconventional way of getting the star, I guess. Uh, this is how the fast way to get it. Kind of skipping the game designer's wishes and just doing it our own cool way, but... I mean, you can never really know, especially with Nintendo games, you can never really know how much they figure out that gamers would actually be able to do, and how much it's just, you know, us, the gamers, glitching the game out and doing things we weren't supposed to. Some, t some games, you really get the feeling that the game developers really thought of these ways, just being also new, that most people wouldn't think of them, so they made easier ways, and more easier to figure out ways to complete the game too. As you saw here, I made another shortcut. So I don't have to go down the entire slide. Whoops, <laughs> missed the start. No worries. Um, I'll have to go down the whole slide later anyway. Because when I get the 100 coins here, I need to go down the slide while racing the penguin, while getting all the coins. Uh, almost all the coins at least. <clears throat> I to get a very exact amount of coins, so the last coin I get is coin number 100. Oops. So it can be a bit hard to catch. There we go. Also kind of unconventional way of getting this little penguin down to his mother without having to, you know, go down the entire stage. Fuck. Okay, I screwed that up. I need to be pressing forward. I kind of released the stick there while talking. Okay, one death out of the way. Let's just go. Nope. There we go. Oops. Huh. Okay, now. Go. Okay, now. Go. Okay, now it's a double star, where I get the star for racing the penguin down the slide, while I get the star for 100 coins. And there are not 100 coins in the slides, but there are also not 100 coins outside the slide, which means you have to first collect some coins outside the slide and then go race the penguin. When you have, I would say about 
25 to 30 coins is a good measurement because having the bare minimum is for absolute pros only who are really sure that they can get all the stars in the slide. I'm not sure that I can get all the stars. I'm actually very sure I cannot get all the stars in the slide, so I I go a little bit safe by getting that blue coin there, which a uh, really good player wouldn't get. You just get that blue coin for you know, for speed and aim to get all the stars here in the second slide. So I get in here with 27 coins, which is a good amount, I'd say. Uh, what I need to do here is, of course, I need to get as many coins as I can, but in the end I'll need to skip some coins to make up for that. So the last coin I get is, uh, is coin number 100. Or perhaps 101, 102 is also okay, I guess. Just, uh, there I missed a few coins, which was not on purpose, but it shouldn't be a problem since. Yeah, I need to get six out of these last coins. One, two, four, fuck. Okay, this is a problem. This is a big problem, actually. Because this means I'll just have to skip the penguin. I just can't get. Uh, I just can't get. Historia. Now I'll have to do the slide once again. Just get this coin, get the star, go up with the penguin again. That's the only option I have. Here we go. Because 100 coin stars, as you see, they never send you back to the send you back outside the painting. You always get a chance to get an extra star for that. It kind of counts as a secret star, I think so. Funny thing is, I'm still barely losing time here. I would have actually gained, gained almost two minutes on my average, or about two minutes on my record. I would have gained two minutes on my record if I hadn't failed so many of those last coins. There, you see, I failed two of those, and for some reason, I failed to pick up pick up a lot of the last few coins. What? How the friggin' hell is the penguin faster than me? Still gain about almost a minute here for some reason. Maybe I, I think I did pretty much the same thing last my record run, but maybe I did something else completely wrong. Yeah, I also I saved a few seconds getting the B.O.B. star, the fly cap star, and where I jump up on that island. Okay, 18 stars. Uh, this is when we go for. Big Boo's Haunt. I remember this ghost scared me so much as a kid. When I saw him for the first time, he was, you know, just standing there looking at me with those evil, evil eyes. God, I'll never forget this. And this garden, so green, but still so... Huh? Weird. Still so horrifying with all these ghosts. Now it's just one piece to the puzzle, I guess. Just go in here and get two stars. It's Together with B.O.B. I think it's the least amount of stars we get in the world we actually enter. Uh, well, Jolly Roger Bay I don't even enter, so I guess that's the record of least amount of stars. But this one and Jolly Roger Bay only gets... No, this one and uh, B.O.B. Boam Spellfield, the first of all the levels, the one with the big bomb. Only two stars. Simply because many of them are slow to get. Like B.O.B. you have to get all the way up the hill and everything, it's kind of frustrating. Um, also, it might, I think for the really fast runners, people who play this, play this game at like world record pace, they they kind of want to show off, so you get a lot of the late stars, uh, which are really, really hard, and which are the ones that of course I would save time by getting early, easier stars. Um, but they choose to get those late stars both because they are fast, of course, and they will only go for the fastest ones possible. Uh, but also they get them just to show off, I think, a little bit, like, they can they can do them so nice, so well with such control. It's not a little trick, if, as long as you do that, just only do that beyond Star, Bomb Star 2, where you can kind of hold A and kick while you run up the slope, and you will never start sliding, like, no matter how steep the slope is, pretty much. Not a, almost any slope, almost any slope can be. And you can get up using that trick. Um, yeah, so 
let's come down to the basement. The basement is easy in general, lethal level land is a bit tricky, I guess, but... The lethal level land has like one or two tricky stars. The first is getting this damn rabbit bunny. He always runs the way you don't run, so it's kind of frustrating. Uh, like if I jump right, he'll go left and so on. So I'll try to get him in this corner. Then I'll try to just get him here. Oh, shit, I missed. Okay, this, this is gonna lose me time, I think. Because I was fairly fast in my... Ah, that's the worst when you jump out of many jumps directly to the side. There we go. In a 16 star run where I just get 16 stars and then complete the game, I would not get the star, I would just pick him up and use him to glitch the game out and complete the game. Um, here I just get the star and then run into the full level end. Because I just want to get 70 stars as fast as possible here, not to complete the game until I have those 70 stars I need. Oh shit, this is not good. Okay, let's go for a backup star. I should get a long jump there. Everything else is. Failure. Oh shit, this is not good. Okay. Let's see, I lose three lives every time I fall and I touch the lava, so. Running a risk of touching lava when having less than. less three or less life is dangerous. Okay. Red coin star, one of the fastest stores in the game, let's see. Very easy. I mean, all the red coins are in the same place, you just pick them up quickly. Okay, let's, let's try this again. What the f oh, it's the second time in a row I fail that. That's not good, because I need to do that jump two times. At least. Uh, if I do, if I fail later on a star, I'll have to do it more times. This is another star that we get kind of an unconventional way. I'm supposed to go around and roll on a log and do all kinds of advanced crap. I just just do that. Fly over the fence. Okay, now I really need to get to get past this. Good. What I do here is I try to get up on the top and maybe even get this extra life and then oh shit, jump down. Okay, that's not good because I, I now I need an extra coin before I can go further. And I might even set up my jump here or something. Yeah, okay. see, now I survived with one life, otherwise, I would have died if I didn't get that extra coin. Okay, and I'm not supposed to do this back here. If I touch the lava, I'm dead, so. Oh, this is not good. This is not, 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 not good. I'll just hold back so I don't go all the way. Because there's a big risk there. I'll just hit the wall and. Fall into the lava and I'll die. So. Here we go. Okay, that's another star. Let's just say the three stars I've gotten in Lethal Lava Land, those six so far, are the easiest ones. The second to last star that I usually get is by far the hardest. And that's why it usually even becomes the last star because I usually fail it and I go for a backup. I use the last star as a backup. That's why I keep it for last so I can use it as a backup in case things fail. Okay, same thing again. I'm gonna use. An extra coin here, unless um, in case I fall into the lava, which I usually do. Uh, it's pretty unusual for me to. Oh shit, this is not okay, uh, That was expected, but I'm stupid. Mamma mia. I'm gonna be so tired after I've done this. Because I've done it before, but then I was like listening to music, chilling out, not talking. Now I'm talking and not listening to music, but listening to the game sound. Oh, this is not good. I don't like how the game paused right after I did the long jump. I might fail it. Oh, that was close. Wow. Okay, okay, I'll get a few coins just to be safer. Oh, shit. No, I couldn't. Oh, 
this is not. <laughs> this is not the way it's supposed to go. It's supposed to go much, much faster. Okay, let's see if I can get this one. Okay, that's okay. Well, I'm glad I didn't die on the star. Mm, yeah, I'll still be pretty far behind my record actually when I do this. I did this, the really, really hard star that I'm gonna do now that includes like sliding up a lot, waterfall of lava. Uh, I got that star like a second try last time. Totally crazy. One good thing about this run is so far I collected, collected 10 extra lives. That will be very useful in levels like this. I mean, I will get a game over sooner or later. That's how bad I am. Like, I will die a lot on the late stars. But this is also a star where I might die a few times. Ah, almost. Pretty close. I can just aim it a little bit wrong in the end. So I made me go into the waterfall instead of onto the platform when I'm going to go. I like this about this level. Really, this is one of the things that makes this game so awesome. It, it really thinks about the player's emotions. Oh, okay, so I'm not supposed to touch the lava uh, until I touch the actual waterfall. I'm supposed to jump my f second jump on jump onto that little little rock opening out, and then the third jump up the waterfall. Uh, there we get it. It's just not dying up. Oh shit. Oh shit, I almost got it, but I died. Okay. That's sad. Uh, okay, let's see if I can get a few coins. Uh, okay, I'll just go into this section and just run around to get the star. Sinus. I don't really have a choice now. It's not like I waste a huge amount. I mean, this is actually faster, generally, than me doing the star in the fast way. Oh shit. <laughs> Because, I mean, I won't, like, if I would have just done this from the beginning, I would have saved a lot of time. But, screw safety, I want to have fun. Or rather, I want to go fast. Okay, so, I failed the lava, but you, you saw what it was about. I just, I actually did the trick, but I failed getting the star for because I was a little bit stupid climbing the poles. Now I'll see if I can get some new okay, to that star. It's also inside the volcano, but it's much easier to get, because it simply doesn't involve a crazy trick like that. Just the simplest of simple tricks. Just boom. Onto this platform. You're supposed to like run around to get up here somehow, or you're supposed to get up here pretty much this way. Uh, what am I doing wrong with this? And then it's spinning the camera around, it's pointing against the star, and we jump. This is the end of the full level, and I lost a little bit of time on that one. Okay, now three easy stars, I would say. Like, the chance of dying is low, and even if I die, it's just too bullshit. Kind of. It's not really anything. This is not a level that scares me in the slightest. Some other way, the fast guys do it. Yeah. Why wait for? Why let the bird come come to you when you can come to the bird? Kind of. Just to start. Good. That's actually I would say the hardest star on this level, and that says a lot about it. how easy it is. Our marathon is going to be tough at this rate. Uh, what am I doing now? Okay, let's get this one. Oh shit, she did. Okay, that was stupid. I could have just sat up. I just decided to sit on my ass for way too long. Okay, I'll make this same mistake again. Okay, let's try that. What the? Like if, as long as you do the first two jumps outside, you can triple jump up the slope. 
Oops. Okay, better than going into the lava, I guess. Yeah, once again, you can do the third jump or the triple jump on a slope, which helps getting up more slopes. Like, the slopes are supposed to convert into big stairs or stuff. You can usually just make a double jump and then make it into a triple jump by jumping the slope. Ah, okay, let's see. This is the one I don't get in. Ooh, nice. Let's see if I can get up over here. Yeah, good. Let's save some time. Let's... Here, I just need to not do stupid stuff. Just get on top of all the pillars without crashing into anything. Okay, I did. Oh, okay, I almost crashed into something. Now I don't even know how to do this, actually. So it's a bit scary. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, let's just hit the star. I'm saving the times. 20 seconds saving. I failed the, the last star. On my TV, I think, in my record. And the reason I can still be pretty confident that I can go under two hours where I went over the last time, even though my time was better back then, is the simple fact that the end. I mean, you see, I've, last time I had 36 stars, that half of it, 42 minutes, and still it took me way more than one hour, 20 minutes to get it, all of them. It took me two hours to get the whole game done. Uh, which means it took me about two hours to get the stars and then two minutes to final boss level. Uh, okay, I didn't really prepare which star to get here, but let's get this one. I didn't prepare mentally to get the harder one. Um, like most of these stars, I'm not really glitching the game, but I'm still playing it in a way that it wasn't really supposed to be played. Uh, mostly by a jump, abusing triple jumps and uh, the back back flips kind of you know where you, you go forward and then you can even demonstrate if you do that uh, that's very very helpful okay now i'll do one of the glitchy stars there are two like glitchy stars you end up in the same room by doing them by right? glitching over the wall here like jumping over the wall in this room you can Oops. I don't know if it's possible to do like a backwards flip, but no, I don't think it's possible. Mm. This is hard, but I still want to do it in the pro way. Because glitching is fun. Yeah, you see, you're supposed to have the metal cap for that. Uh, you know, to be very heavy and then. You know, be able to walk in the water and push, push the button. But since I'm falling from such a high height, when I do that, uh, I still fall into the water with enough speed, so I hit the button and open the door. And there's an, there's like a fail-safe trick, even even if I don't push the button, there's a fail-safe trick to get myself into the water with high speed after that. So. But I got it the way it was supposed to. It's good. This one is pretty much the same thing, although it's a little bit harder, because it's harder to get over the wall at all. And it's also harder to not die for a specific reason. But I didn't do it. I actually got the star first try. That's amazing. I'm pretty sure I'll save time here. Um, let me just remember the last. I, I might save a couple of minutes here just from not dying on those two stars. Um, so I just have two stars left, and as you can see, I have like three, almost four minutes to get get those two stars. So I'm not in a big hurry. Uh, oh yeah, shit! This star, the star I want to get now, I need to go on this platform again, which I can do by like once again kind of abusing this jump to get up on this platform and then go this way. Like this is not. I guess the way you're supposed to go. Wait, is this the way? Oh, shit, opposite. Uh, you're supposed to go the other way and come in here and come out where I got in. 
I can do this backwards. And another place where you can go. Whoops. Oh shit, I don't want to die here. Shit. Okay, it's okay. This is getting very close to dying now. Okay, I'm gonna die. That's first time ever. First time ever I died on that stage. So that, that sucks. And the time I was planning to save, I'm not gonna save that. Oh, fucking hell. Oops. Sorry about the language. Uh, okay, yeah. I, 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 uh, yeah. I, I get a little bit tilted where I get angry about dying in a stupid way and then I die again in an even more stupid way, I guess. So it's okay. I, as long as I get all the 70 stars today before my dad comes home from his thing so he starts interrupting me. I'm happy as long as I can do that. Let's see if I can get out of bed again. What the f Come on! God, I'm not gonna save any time on this now. That sucks balls. Okay. Let's go. Jump up from this platform, jump here, and the hard part should be over. I started sliding around and stuff last time, that wasn't very good. Let's see how we go forward, it's just too far from myself. Okay, let's not die this time. Huh, that seemed to be a good way to do it. Yeah, I should know that for future ones. Triple jump. Mm, let's get the star. Oh, where's the star? We. Oh yeah, I need one more star. Thought I was done, but I'm not. Oh wow, I'm gonna lose time. No, I'm not gonna lose time, but I'm still gonna be behind my. I'm still gonna be behind my record, which is not good so far, right? Kind of thing. It's okay. It's okay because I'm pretty sure I can improve my my performance in the late stages because I practiced them a little bit today enough so that I can get them in just a few tries as opposed to a million tries. Okay, still a little bit ahead of my record now. A big reason why I'm doing this because obviously no one's watching it. I can see the viewer numbers and no one is watching this, literally no one, but I'm still talking to myself. Uh, it might seem kind of sad, but I also it's good for me because I have a video of my I have a video of my record. Like if this now becomes my record. But I hope at least I have a video of me doing the 70 stars. Uh, which is good for me because I can go in here, compare, maybe even play this video when I play other times to compare my performance and also just can check later what stars I did bad on and what I should improve and small. I can use this video to analyze my own play. Okay. Uh, here I should get the chip treasure chest. This star might seem like a super easy one just by hearing it. You touch four treasure chests on the bottom and that's it, you get the star. But the problem is their, their hitboxes on these stars suck. They're really, really hard to touch, as you can see here. I still haven't gotten the touch register on this one. There we go. You really need to have your front facing the front of the chest. And on top of that, the last star, the last treasure chest, you pretty much need to go head first into a head first into a whirlpool, into a twister. And if you, you know, if you touch that twister, you're dead. You need to go head first into it, but then as soon as the chest opens up, you turn around and swim away from it. Here, you see. Okay, I did it, I think. Yeah, I did. Good. I need to keep pressing the A button to make sure I'm swimming away constantly. I'm not getting pulled in. Good. So that's a potential death star. I just heard what I said. 
Death Star so awesome. Except if it's Super Mario 64. I get three stars in here. Uh, while one of them is this one, like the most basic star I use. The one you have to get to to beat the game in any way. Because you need the star to open the second boss level. You need to board Bowser's son. That's what the star is titled in the American European English language versions. I don't even know what it's called here, I never read names of mini stars in this game. Just press the A button before I can see. I guess I could see it now after I take the star as soon as I exit the level. It usually says like what star I just got and how many coins I got. There we go, that's what we are supposed to do, but that's the way I do it. Because it's faster. Once again, I'm using triple jump. Okay, it's called Koopa Sensui Kant. Pretty much just Koopa's, Koopa's submarine. Because he's called Koopa in this one, not Bowser. Which is, I guess, one reason why they didn't keep the Salongi Bowser in there. Because he's not even called Bowser in Japanese, it's just called Koopa. Let's not miss any of these. Ah, oh, okay, I missed one. Which means I have to start from the beginning. Because the hitboxes suck on these. Yeah, like I said, they suck. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, I always miss number four. Finally. Okay, let's see what going So, how's this level? Whoa, whoa, okay, I'm behind. <laughs> I think I did this, this pretty perfectly the last time, so... Yeah, whatever. Time to fight Bouncer again. This one, I also, just like the last one, I want to get all the red coins because that's like a f kind of a free star where I don't waste much time. I have to go through this level anyway. So, not getting the red star would be kind of red coin star would be kind of weird. Where in the last, of course, in the last Bowser level, I don't get the red coins because there's no purpose. I mean, even if I don't take. So even if I don't get an extra star there, I'll still beat the level. That's just for uh, the only way of, the only reason I would do that is if I want to get 120 stars like every single star in the game. And then I'll have to do that. Get the red coins in the bouncer. Bouncer in the sky. Oh shit, this is okay. Uh, well, okay. I usually wall jump off that and I fail this time, so. I wasn't really concentrating in the beginning. Okay, here I'm happy as long as I like it. Okay, I don't like when that happens either. But I kind of made it into a win by getting all the way up here. The only problem now is I could... Uh, my health is still a bit low, so I can still die. Oh, no problem, points here. I don't know this game very well. <laughs> Like another reason why this game is easy. Yeah, you fall into lava if you fall down, but it doesn't matter much because they, they put all these nice little um, parts everywhere. Yeah, I know this is not a fast way of doing this, but what the hell is my way? I get the red coins and I complete the level in an okay manner. Oops, that's weird. Oh shit, that's, that's not good. Okay, one more time. Let's first not die. That's the first step of this. Okay, I have to 
что... I don't want to get pushed into the lava, but of course I want to reach Bowser's tail as fast as possible, so... Oh shit, I missed this time. Go... You can't spin as fast as I can. Haha, uh -huh, anything you can do, I can be better. I can do everything better than you. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I'm gonna pretty much break. Ah, come on. Yeah, I'm pretty much gonna break even with my last attempt of this level. Hmm. Yeah, I'm six seconds, something. Not a huge deal. Do this so I can reach this part of the game quickly. Instead of just walking here, I just go into the level exit because every time you exit the level, you end up out there. Every time you get a game over, or in another way, you know, same thing as resetting the game. Like if you turn off the game, you turn it on again, or get a game over, you end up outside the castle where you do when you start the game. So that's even worse. And when you die, you just end up outside the paint deck. Anticipating good ones. I've played this game before, in case you didn't know. I have played this game before, I'm just guessing. I need to be psychic to do all these things without having played the game before. And I still kind of envy the game, the people I mean, who haven't played this game before. Um, it's an awesome game. It's really, really fun. I just, just a week ago or so, I, for the first time, I got all, all the stars, uh, the last of the 120 stars in the game, and that made me really happy, and also made me motivated to pursue made me motivated to pursue getting a quick 70 stars in this game. Here. And then get a special star, the star that I get for doing all these, uh, uh, collecting all these numbers, the last numbers up here, but unfortunately not the last coins. Here, breaking this gives me the last the number five. Which gives me a star. But I still need 15 coins, well, five are here. Somewhere inside the belly of this little purple guy. And the last five coins. I'll need to do some gymnastics to get. Oops. It's okay, actually. Falling off might seem like a disaster, it would have been a disaster. Unless I just made the water level rise. Which means I can just get up here and collect the last few coins. Oh shit, come on. I want the storm. Call me really but I want the storm. Here we go! Yes, yes, I want to call me Sebo Shimasu. Err, get me the star. Good. Here we go! Okay. That actually went okay. Could be much worse, you know, getting stuck somewhere or not getting all of the 100 points or whatever. Okay, let's go for one of the really hard ones. I'm actually gonna make it a bit easier for myself while wasting a little time by doing that now. Because uh, this I find particularly hard. Yeah. Yeah. 
This is another one of those where I would save time by just doing it the normal way because I'm so bad at doing it the speedrunner way. But, uh, I, I never give up. Oh, I had it, but I fell off. That's, that's my goal. I, like, I know as soon as I jump, I know what I'm going to do. So it's not like, oh, I made it, or oh, I didn't make it, but rather than, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to get that stone out. That's simple as it is. Uh, and here, like... Yeah, I could, I could like, try to do some more jumps up here, but... I'm, I'm not confident enough to do that. I'm, so I just, I just ride the enemy rock, it's not that much lower. I get a lot of messages about frame dropping, but I think my connection is okay now. Let's see, this is the last star that I'll get using low. Oh shit, this is a The opposite of shortcuts. Took the long way around. Uh, let's see. Oops. Didn't get the star. Let's go around the back. Here we go. Mm. Looks like I'm up for some time saved here. I spent like a couple of years, it felt like. Oh, by the way, uh, any fast fast runner of this game would, would have been done like 10 minutes ago now. Uh, it's just done uh, very fast, so. Okay, that didn't work very well. It's okay, this one is not easy. That's the usually the most comfortable way of doing each stage, just going in and doing the harder stars, then kind of doing the easier ones. Oopsie! Let's just not fall off this block. And then we up here. And then we have another stop. Yeah, one and a half minutes ahead now. My record because of how much time I wasted last time. Now three of the I would say one of the easiest stages in the game, Tiny Huge Island. It's this is really a frustrating stage for like when playing casual, like I played this pretty recently. Uh, because I needed some of these stars to get all 120. But for 70 star. Uh, it's, Actually, quite comfortable. Because you're only gonna get the, the. You're only gonna get three most simple stars. Or kind of three simple stars and three frustrating stars here. Kind of like that, at least. Uh, the most frustrating part here is those, those fire throwers. If you kind of screw, screw you over if you're not too careful. To line up. This is also not the way you're supposed to do it, but screw you, I'm a speedrunner. You're always going as big Mario uh, here because it's just so much faster. You can get to one of the pipes to make you small pretty much anywhere pretty fast. In case you need to be small, like for this star and for the next one, actually, you need to be small when you get the star, but uh, that doesn't mean you have to be small from the beginning. Come on. Come on. Okay, let's go for another one. I don't really care which one. The order here, I don't care much about, just get all of them. I guess this is kind of a stupid way of doing it the way I'm doing it now because I'm letting them live and I'm letting them shoot fire at me and I could actually die if I keep, keep this horribly bad play up. Okay, there's one dead. Um, I need some coins. Not good health there. But can you get hit by my awesome kicks of Super Mario Supernus? Give me the coins and the fire. Thank you. <sighs> don't fall off. I still don't have all the draw flowers killed. Here somewhere. Ah, you little creepy face. Aha! Uh -huh. I think that's the last one. 
Okay, that was incredibly slow. That's okay, because... Because I'm still 47 stars in out of 70, you know, just half, half the time spent. You can kind of see TTM next level. I spent 20 minutes last time. I'm hoping to do less this time. Even if I don't, it's actually it's okay because I still have a lot of time to save. Yeah, that was planned. Um, I still managed to get this glitch. One of the easier stars is just. I mean, I can do it in a faster way, this, I guess, but just I'll hide with my. No, two unnecessary risks. Here we go. Here is the last star of this level. See, went to death free. And saving 8 seconds for my record. I think I failed the last star a little bit on my last time by sliding on the, sliding on the, the wall of the okay, One of the stars, easy as hell. Huh. It's one of these. This level is a lot about glitching, actually, there are two times you need to do this glitch. Oops. Okay, I think it's okay. Uh, I kind of learned how to do this, so even if I fail a few times, I have a hand on how to do it now. Okay, this is, as you might have noticed, kind of a glitch. Not something intended by the game developers, but I'm happy. So thank you for letting there be water inside of that rock for some mystical reason. Um, uh, which one do I do for first? Oops. Okay, you're... Actually, I will do the same jump up this wall for both of the first two stars. If I was aiming to do this a bit faster but more unsafe, I would use another method for the second star by just pretty much trying to jump instantly into the hole in the wall. While here I get up one level, so the hole is kind of below me when I jump, which makes it much easier to get in there. Because if I miss the hole, I'll fall down and I have to go around and do some triple jump tricks again and stuff like that. And I don't want to do that. That's what I did last time with the second. You never know what you'll find out. Okay. This is actually something I failed in many, many times in the last one. Yeah. It's one failed. Attempt. Another failed attempt. I need to get like, there's like almost a line where the rock begins, becomes a little bit red. I need to get above that line before I do my last jump. There we go. And now I could have just jumped immediately into the wall, jumped into the hole. But that's dangerous and I don't like to take too much risk. So. No, okay, that's not good. Woo! Saved by the awesome skills. Saved by being ready for failing the kind Okay, good. 51 stars. Three more. Of which two are easier and one is harder. I'll go for the hard one now. For the reasons I mentioned before, you just want to get the hard ones out of the way. So you can kind of relax. After that, this one is really tricky. Uh, it's a short trick, but if you fail it, you die. And we can need to line this up so I can kind of see a little bit of orange. Oh, I know what. Yeah, I can kind of see a little bit of orange under his arm, not that much orange. Okay. Oh, like this side? Yeah, this is good. And then another trick to this, you too. Yeah. 
do it like a boss like I just did. You really need to control the speed there, back and forth of that brown thing. So you first keep it very slow so you don't fall off the cliff, but then you need to gain speed in the end, because otherwise you won't make it all the way to the mushroom. So you really need to gain speed there for the last for the last little jump. Okay, now let's get the red coins in this level. They are the first half of them are a little bit tricky, the first four, because they are here, you can see them. These mushrooms. Them. Oh shit, like I just did that. My sense of depth, I guess, is not very good in this game. Let's go one more time. So you're, you're, they all make the same sound. While if you're used to playing this game, you'll probably play it in the European release because you're most, Swedish, most probably a Swedish. And, and then they make like a more of a high pitch sound every time the pitch gets higher, which sounds kind of cool. Uh, I prefer it. Siglamic ones say he prefers the this one, which I think is crazy. I don't know if. It, since he's such a pro, maybe he doesn't like getting disturbed by the, the rising pitch. This is one of the few times where we kind of do a trick, but this is actually what I think they intended in the game. I mean, they can't really intend for you to do anything else than just jump out onto that mushroom. Maybe they want you to jump from the bottom, because that's a bit, little bit more scary. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna get one more easy star and I'm out of here, and I'll have gained more than 10 minutes off my record, which is crazy. But the amount of failure I had last time in this run is crazy. So. Uh, this star should be a first, first timer, first time getter. Yeah. Yay. And that's it for Troll Troll Mountain. That's really, yeah, I see 14 minutes and 30 seconds ahead of my record. So already now I'm. It's looking like I'm gonna be able to go under two hours, but it really, really depends on the last two levels. Rainbow Ride and Tick Tick Clock. Tick Tock Clock, perhaps. They are annoying as hell. Because they are both the kind of level there is no solid ground on those levels. Uh, let's see which level we go for this one. Uh, nope, let's go easy with the cash over. Okay, that's actually, you know, I started with an easy start out, but it's so close, it would be taunting me otherwise to see it every time. Okay, I did that wrong. Okay, all triple jumps should always be done. Of course, we're doing the third part like that on top of the... Uh, okay, not enough speed or bad, bad angle or something like that. There we go. Oh, give me the oh shit. This is not good because I need two red coins down here. I'm not sure how to get them actually. Maybe I can. Aha! Uh -huh. Then get the second one and I. The same way for much. Oh wait, is that one under the actual bridge? Oh, uh, maybe I'll not get it. I'll skip this. Uh, or I might as well try and die. Why not? There's just wind blowing away. It's annoying. Come on. 
Oh, uh, we won't get any more enemies. Well, if, I, don't know, I might as well kill this guy now. If I even can. Okay, let me do that. I'll lose some time, but it's worth it. Okay, new rule for myself. If I can't get that star, you know, spinning, uh, and rather red coin, if I can't get that red coin, I'll spin and spinning around. I'll just skip that coin, go for the two ones under the under the uh, frozen platform, because those two are the ones where I need the red shell. I need the green shell, I need the shell for it. Oopsie, that's not good. Um, there are various ways to get in there, that was still plan B. Just this one. And let me just say that the other yellow box you can get there is actually better than this. It's taunting me by its presence. Well, that's an easy way of saying it. Uh, okay, right now I should not try to get for that. Go for that red coin, I should get these ones instead. Because I can still go back for the, that the last red coin now. We're losing time, but um, it's just a backup strat. That's all it is. I actually forgot about one star. Now I remember. Like, that's a good thing about having the amount of stars I'm supposed to get written down in primer. Like now it says SL, which is Snowman's Land, and then 59. That I actually need to get two more stars, and I can just remember one of them. Uh, which is very good because that means now it made me think, and now I know which one the second one is. The one I forgot. It's this one. Uh, Another one you kind of get it in the unconventional way. And everyone who got screwed over by this snowman blowing his air at you, you're gonna get pissed as hell about what I'm doing here. Uh, or maybe you won't be pissed as hell because maybe I'll be the pissed one. Because this can sometimes be into the hell trying to get past these platforms. Sometimes it's even better to just give up and not go for Actually, I think I won't go for this one. I'll try to get. Yeah, I don't understand. Go for the last one. Getting back up star. That's not so good. Yeah, I'm going to lose some time on this segment. It's okay. I won't lose 14 minutes that much, I'm sure of, because this last star I have to get. I, I just did some really, really weird thing right now. I'm not supposed to do that again. Let's see. First, a triple jump up here. That's the first step. Uh, without time, at least. Let me add that to my order if you didn't know. Okay. One, two, three. No. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, go, yeah, 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 Now let's see if I can get this. This is the weirdest angle ever. Uh, yeah, well, I'm basically gonna get through the part where I have to avoid the, avoid the snowman's breath by using the penguin. Uh, just by doing a few simple wall jumps, they should be simple, though. but for some reason it keeps screwing over. Yeah, I definitely keeps screwing over. And the camera really keeps screwing over. The camera wants to go higher, it knows I'm not supposed to go like this. No, so if I'm... Oops, the only reason I would ever be where I was supposed to go into that little mini igloo, but I didn't, because I'm, I'm an asshole. So, because I want to get the star. Yay. Okay, I lost like one half minute there, but that is okay. Because now it's time for a friggin' rainbow ride. And that is the hardest. Uh, 
business. Yeah, I would say it's the trickiest part of the game. Really, the hardest part of the game. Let's see, this is where I, I spent... How much time did I spend on TikTok clock? TikTok clock, like... 16 minutes, stop not that bad compared to this one where I spent like half an hour. This one is really unforgiving. So many hard tricks you should do. It's not a very hard stage if you're not trying to speedrun it, but if you're trying to speedrun it, it sucks if you're going to be silent here. Okay, yeah, that might just seem like I'm trying to kill myself, but what I'm really trying to do is to get far enough so I can wall jump off one of those spinning platforms. Uh, on to the other one. As long as like, I need to time my last jump in that little, little thin part of the stone in the end of this platform. Like that. And I skip the whole part, or I would have to ride, ride a rainbow mat. 70 star run of this game, you never need to ride on it. On a mat, flying mat, ever. 120 need to get here. Oh yeah, that's the hardest star in the game. And I just got it. Like in, in the game, the 70 star run, of course, but there's many, many harder stars in the 120. Oh shit, that's some time loss. Accidentally pressed down, so... Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to... Okay, yeah, that's some time loss, don't If I had more than four lives, then that's really bad. I'll have to go back in the video and check that later. If I had less than four lives, then... Not that bad. It's kind of silly, but you save almost no time by doing it. But why not? It's very, very easy to do. Uh, if the stream is really laggy, I'll make sure until the next time I stream, I just low fix my settings a little bit. At least the sound I know will come through great, no matter what. Low stream quality only lowers the video. Okay, I need to do the same trick one more time. No, two more times, actually. Ugh. I hate this trick. Oh, yeah. That's another possible consequence. Uh, if I time the second jump wrong, then that's what happens. Like, when I fail it, when I jump all the way but still fail, I undershoot. That's when I overshoot when I jump too far. Uh, okay, yeah, that's fail. I might get a couple of game overs here, it's no big deal. Uh, really, I'm just happy. Every time I get the trick, I shouldn't need to. Do the trick again in a while. Do I? Oh shit, I don't even know. Let's just go for it. Wow. Really wow. Mm, my stream keeps saying two viewers, which probably means no viewers because I think it counts me two times. <laughs> Nope. I know I would save time by just going on the on the rainbow little cruiser ride, but that's no fun. Like I would kind of screw over my record. It's like cheating. It feels like cheating not doing this because that's what I did in my record. Yes. If the time I'm fighting against did this, then I shouldn't be more of a coward. One more time, probably. I'll just get all the red coins, that's it. Unless I do some kind of horrible mistake here making me die, I can't see what it hmm. hmm, I don't know how to get up here. Okay. I haven't really learned the method for the race, I just think, oh, they're just red coins, why bother learning a special method for gaining them? Maybe I should have. Just go this way, I guess. Just get all of them, don't. And I 
just in game. Some more work to me, I agree. Uh, oops. Okay, let's get this one. Oops. Yay. Okay, now I see. I have to do it. Into the gates. Oops. Whoa! Go oh, away, I don't want to. Yeah, all the right stones. Like this is when you notice how how little it actually matters how fast I do the, the early stars in the game. Okay, there's one more star where I need to get the to get this trick that I hate. And I got it immediately. Because I am a badass. Uh, oh shit. Wait, how should I do this? this should be good enough? Yeah, good. Uh, now I really don't want to die here. Which is why I shouldn't play this game probably. <laughs> so we got the house. Okay, it's over. I can't do this. Die. Here the important part is just not dying because I don't want to be forced to do that trick again. Because I can really get it just one out of three times or something. Oh shit, again. I need to just not die. I'm sure most casual players can get this, this star easier than I can. I guess going all the way is the safest bet. Just not skipping a single platform. Really going for all of them. Like that. Okay, the last one. I don't need to do that special jump trick, but I need to do an almost equally hard trick. And I'm just one, like one death from game over now, so I probably get a game over now. And then, hopefully, I can get it before I get another game over. Oh, let's see, I just jumped down here. And I jump all the way over here. And I get on that platform here. Here, here, here. Now comes the hard part. Yeah. That's where I die. That's where I get a game over. strategy for that part. Ah, shit. It's, I'm supposed to, as you might notice, I'm supposed to get a triple jump off that little fire breathing thing, and thus get up the platform, and that's where the star is, so that's like the only real trick to this star is. Triple jumping there, it shouldn't be too hard, really, just... Oh shit, okay, this is kind of, <laughs> kind of an embarrassment. It's okay. Yeah. 
that's Rainbow Man, the hardest one in the game. I just saved five minutes on that stage, not as much as I would have wished to save, but it's good enough. It's really good enough, considering how much I already saved. And when I say Rainbow Ride is the hardest, that doesn't mean the hard part is over. This stage is almost equally as hard. I was like, this stage is harder tricks, but not as lethal tricks. Like, most of these... Okay, yeah, that was good. Most of these tricks I can fail, but still survive. Oh, that way I should get the start from this little guy first. It doesn't really matter when I get the start, I just... Might as well get it before I'm done... Before I start to get that side. When I'm done with it, I have 70 stars. Oh wait, I have to go in here when the minute hand is on 12, because that's the only way everything is gonna be completely still here, and I need it to be completely frozen and still. Otherwise this level would be extremely hard. It's still doable for casual players, but really when you do wanna do this fast, or when you wanna do the kind of tricks that I'm supposed to do here. Things moving on for the option. We can see crazy guys, like you can see the good speedrunners. Any good speedrunner can do some of these stars with time moving, but I can't. Okay, this is the first trick, it's really hard, but I won't die by failing it, I'll just have to try again. Like that, I guess I'll try it many times. Nope. It's really tricky, really, really tricky, because I need to get a triple jump, but. If I have too much speed, I will fail it, and if I have too little speed, I will to be able to fail it too, so... Yeah, okay, that was good enough, but I just didn't latch on to the edge properly. There we go. Okay, from here on, I shouldn't die, but I probably will anyway, because I... This shouldn't be hard, but it is hard for me, really. Okay, the first try, that's good. Uh, let's see. The important part is not to die in when, when I fail something. I've gotten much faster than I did last time. I think this game definitely much faster, so that's good. I just need to do one more star like that where I need to do that freaking. where I need to do that triple jump trick that I did that I said was hard, but I won't die by it. One more star where I have to do that. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, dying two times doing that little jump is kind of. Don't mind dying that. It's not okay, that's what I mean. Okay. Okay, and of course I'm supposed to do things like I'm supposed to do this faster. Since I'm already having so much trouble, I feel like I can skip on some of the speedrunner strats here. Just do the ones I'm comfortable doing. Maybe you should start by doing that and then. Oops, too far right. much better than I expected it to go, so far. Wait, why am I holding one star less than I want to have? Uh, I hope there's a good reason for this. Do I need to go up one more time? No, I don't. I don't think I have the rest of my stars here. I think there's two stars. Two stars I have to do those special tricks. And... Oh, let me go. Okay. 
And yeah, the red, the red coins are probably the last because it's a very, very easy start. The next one I'll do now is the farthest one, so the ones to the left, the farthest one of the ones to the left. But right, just, you know, there's a big, there's a big risk that I miss that little hole when I hit the wall and I die, which is embarrassing, but it happens. I could do this without dying, without getting, like, the rest of the game now without dying even once, but I, just by saying that I've already jinxed it, so <laughs> screw it, I'm not gonna get it. Our three stars are incredibly close to each other. The next three, I like the one I took before, this one, and the next one. They're extremely close to each other. Like you saw, I just did the long jump at two different places pretty much to get the different. Oh, okay, time might be moving here. Thought I'd just suicide. If there's no more stars, I can get the time. Yeah, I just suicide. And let it be game over because I can't get any stars with the time moving. And exiting the stage will be. Actually, faster than killing myself, but I now have four lives back, so that's the good part of this. Like, I you stop the game over, so I don't have to worry about that now. But I, like, I won't get a game over before the game is over until I complete the game. I should get a game over. So all the hard stars are over the game. Maybe sub, thir sub 130 can be later, though, not. Okay, that's good. Very good. Uh, okay, another star right above the last one I took. Don't ask me why I didn't do that triple jump from the last two stars. I just didn't feel like it. I didn't feel confident enough to do a simple triple jump. This is pretty much the same. I just instead of. Going in the cage and going on the cage. And, uh, okay, yeah, somewhere here. I think. Oops. So there's a star up there. Ah, what the hell? Deep star, yo. Can't see, where am I stuck? Oh, good. Camera view changing skills, sir. Now the red coins. Right one up there. One, one over. Oh, no. Okay, now just the red, red stars. Red coins, I don't know why I always call them stars. I guess because they have stars on them. Six minutes from my last try, mostly from dying on the first start. Uh, I wasn't careful enough going into the last part. 
Okay, this one I always do this one, so I would be disappointing myself if I didn't even try it. I seem to be like the only one in the whole world who do this, but... Okay, the, the, yeah, dying, I'm not the only one in the whole world who does this. Uh, oops, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, hopefully the platform is back here now. Otherwise, I'm going to school. Okay, this is what I meant. Oh shit. That's supposed to be a kick jump, not a freaking throw on myself. Well, uh, it's okay. Even if I choke here, I have half an hour to almost half an hour. God, I failed so much now. God, I'm back even further back now. I can start on the stage. Er, let me go. Ready, swing. Oof, that's close. Okay, one more time. God, I don't know why. Do I freaking release the button or? That's my problem. Okay, I'll just write this. I mean, you see the general idea. I do a long jump and I do normal jumps. Okay, good. This is the safe way of doing this. Just... There's nothing to be nervous about because there's no way I can spend that much time uh, beating the rest of the game. I just, I'm still nervous because I just want to just get this in the back. Because I'm freaking tired as hell too. Really, playing this game and talking about everything I do for one hour forty minutes while concentrating a lot because I'm not good at this game. Obviously. Um, it's tough. Okay, he just shot his fire, which sucks for me. This means I can die if I'm not too careful. Careful enough, right? Die! Why don't you die? Alright. Okay, yeah, I'm completely screwing up here. Choking. No, I don't. Know. Dead you the problem here is he's not dead yet. I need to get him two more times. With the last one being uh, let's say let's just say the last one has some bit of harder. You'll see now why the last one is harder. One he lands kind of in the middle of everything and this happens. The platform turns into this freaking star shape that's much smaller. Oops, he ran into me, but I don't care, because no one can grab you. Then you can swim off a beach. Yay, I killed him. Yay, I am all run over Super Mario less than 140. I hope that less than 140. Ah, it's so close, so close, so close, so close, so close, so close. <laughs> Please let me have a 140 so I don't want to go for it later. Bam! Done! Yes! 
Hell yeah! That was Super Mario 64 completed. <laughs> Getting all the 70 stars needed to complete the game. In one hour, 40 minutes total. The time it would take you to watch like a movie. The Super Mario Bros. movie from the 90s. Hell yeah. I don't know what I will do for relaxation. Maybe watch this video. Because I'm so freaking tired now. Just enjoy the credits. Some internet clicking. Uh. I really hope the screen screen is black in the actual stream.
Thank you so much for playing my game. And that's the end. So, hope you enjoyed the stream or, you know, watching the video, uh, where you are, and uh, yeah. thank you.